Good evening. <clears throat> Priests, pastors, Mrs. Panzo, Sister Annette, faculty, staff, parents, peers, and alumni of ESCA, St. Mary's, and Our Lady of Mercy. I am Nathaniel Kerr, the Student Council President. Today, our class celebrates the transition from middle school to high school. I would like to congratulate my fellow classmates for this achievement. We have experienced many challenges, and we have all done well. When we came to ESCA, we joined together to create something new and amazing. We were all given a fresh start. We met new people, and we made new friends. Like most things in life, we experienced our ups and downs, but none of us could have ever imagined experiencing a challenge like the one we have experienced during this spring. Despite COVID-19, we pushed on, found solutions to problems, grew in strength, and are now fortunate to be together here today. I recall on March 13th, being told that we would not be returning the following week to school. Things quickly changed from laughing side by side in the classrooms and playing on the playground to having classes and only seeing each other from the screen of a computer. I remember helping disconnect all the chargers from the Chromebook cart so they could be passed out along with the Chromebooks. And I remember packing up my backpack with all my books. We all headed off that Friday afternoon with our packet of work meant for two weeks. But not long after, the break was extended, and then again multiple times. I wished to go back to school more than I had ever even wished for summer break. This was far different from anything any one of us has ever experienced. It went on to become a great experiment for online learning. Our teachers worked tirelessly during this time to keep us engaged and give us the best education they could provide. Together, they created yet another school for us. Thank you, each and every one of you, for what you've done. Mrs. Maison, you took care of us, you helped us with our problems, and you were a mother at school. And because of COVID-19, you became our second mother at home too. You always believed in us, even when we were at our worst. You always gave us a second chance, and you even fought for us. Thank you. Mr. Green, you never let a day be dull. You always had something to say, and you always made the class laugh. Thank you. Mr. Santoro, you taught us so much of your wisdom that will help us in life, and you left us with so many memories and great stories we will cherish forever. Thank you. Mrs. A, you always made our classes fun, and you always made them a great experience. And I would especially like to thank you for mock trial and the play. Those are very special. Thank you. Mrs. Hamilton, thank you for gym class. It was always fun and you always gave us exciting, event, er, exciting activities to do. <laughs> Mr. Mason, thank you for opening our minds to new types of music and giving us an interactive experience with it. Mrs. Muckle, thank you for broadening our artistic abilities and teaching us so much about different art styles and art periods. The Polar Express and seeing you with your dog, London, will be some of my favorite memories of you. Thank you to Sister Annette for the wonderful music at Mass and for the daily prayers and reflections. Thank you, Mrs. Panzo, for keeping our school running and for bringing us all together as a family. Thank you to Mr. Gilbert for always helping around the school and being a great friend to us all. Thank you to Mrs. Piscatelli for your unwavering love and the work you've put in for this school. And thank you to all the faculty and staff and volunteers at ESCA. Each one of you has contributed, contributed to making ESCA the amazing school and second home it has become. Attending Catholic school gave each of us something more than other schools could have offered. Catholic school is a place where we are reminded to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. 
In a world that is filled with so many struggles, this is a gift. We are blessed to not have to face some of the major hardships happening right now, but around us, great struggles do exist. This spring, our world, which is already dealing with quite enough, quickly faced great sickness, fear, and civil unrest. While we were all home safe behind the screen of a Chromebook, where our biggest problem was whether to put on pants or stay in our sweats, <laughs> our world was calling out for help. Now, here at graduation, it is a time for change. This can also be a time of uncertainty and fear of the unknown. But with this change comes possibility and opportunity. ESCA is our foundation and our family. It is important for each of us to remember that this school has taught us to be the help and to be the change for the better that our neighbors in our world needs. We have been taught, as John F. Kennedy said, paraphrasing the Bible, for of those to whom much is given, much is required. In a world that now needs health, protection, respect, tolerance, and love, it is up to each of us to practice the lessons that we learned while we were here and to go out in the world and spread that. Nobody can tell us how long we will have to sit six feet apart and other changes that will make it harder. But these changes can be no excuse for not doing anything. When we leave here, what choices will each of us make for the better? As we enter high school and the next phase of our lives, during a time of new clubs, sports, dances, and excitement, I challenge each of you to introduce yourself to someone new, someone different than you, someone who enjoys different activities, or someone who may seem weird. If you take the time to learn about what makes you different, you will discover what makes you the same. I challenge you to hold the door open equally for those who are older as well as those who are younger. Continue to bring that can of soup for your food pantry every chance you get. Nobody knows what struggles each of us are facing at any given moment. When you leave here, I challenge you to continue the lessons that ESCA has taught us and that will help us change the world. I am certain that each one of us has a bright future ahead. Alexander Graham Bell said, when one door closes, another opens. But we often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door that we do not see the one which is open for us. We must look ahead with our eyes open to opportunity. Today in our graduation, we sit here spread far apart, but we are closer than we've ever been before. Over our time together, we went from classmates to friends to something more. We became closer with each other, and we became a family. We may no longer be students of ESCA, but ESCA will forever be a part of us. I will miss every one of you, but I look forward to the chances, and when we can meet together later in our lives, we'll never know. But we are family, and family is forever. In the great words of A.A. A. Millen, how lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard to do. So I say goodbye with a heavy heart, but I also say welcome. Welcome to the beginning of the next chapter in the story of your life. I promise it's going to be a real page turner.